Welcome to the how-to video series. I'm Nathan McMahon. In this episode, I'll be discussing how to customize load balancing via DataScript. So what's the use case or purpose of DataScripts? Normally, when you're configuring load balancing, there's a set number of features, capabilities, knobs, if you will. And if you need to do something that's beyond just the scope of what the knobs allow, then you need to get in and customize the default behavior of the Obby system. There's a lot of reasons, a lot of use cases, because a lot of applications are very diverse and different. Therefore, we need to be able to customize how we want things to be done. Maybe we are rewriting the client's data before it's sent to the server. Maybe we're rewriting the response, doing some sort of a custom redirect based upon some criteria. Any of these can be options for why we would want to change the default behavior. So there's a couple of different ways of doing things with Avi. You can do the native functionality, the native knobs. You can use something like policies, which is more of a point and click way of some level of customization or data script. It effectively, this comes out to on the native functionality, just point and click, simple, easy to use. It's not terribly flexible. DataScript, on the other hand, is a scripting language, so it's a lot more flexible, but it does mean it's a little bit more effort. And then policies fall somewhere in between. As a DataScript, effectively what this is, it's a data plane scripting language. It's using the Lua scripting language and it's bytecode compiled. And effectively what you're doing, you're taking your scripting and we're going to compile this and run this uh, in the system within the service engines. And what will happen is that when a specific event happens, so we're going to take the script, attach it to a virtual service. When an event happens, such as when a layer four request is received, when a authentication is completed, when um, let's say an SSL handshake is completed, then I'm going to fire the script. The script is effectively an if-then type of a logic. If something is true, then take some action. This can be very complex for robust. You can have a lot of if, then, else, if, or whatever logic you would normally have in any type of a script. So the scripting looks a little like this. It's based upon Lua, and we've added some additional functions or uh, commands, obby.http, for instance. So if obby.http.protocol equals HTTP, then redirect to HTTPS plus the host name of the client requested, plus the URI that the client requested. So this is a very simple example of HTTP redirect, but it could be something infinitely more complex. So what we would do is we would go and copy and paste this logic, take it into our demo system here, edit our demo application, and we'll go over to policies and data scripts. Right now I have no data script applied. I can go and add a new one and take a look at one of the existing ones I have in my environment, or I can just go and create a new data script. So this would be HTTP to HTTPS. Here's the different events that I could be using. I could be doing this based upon layer four, DNS, and SSL. In our case, it's going to be when an HTTP request is received. That's when I want this to fire. So I'll just copy and paste that in there. So I could do something like this. I could add a little more logic to it, say avi.bs.log and log uh, avi rocks. So some additional logic would get thrown into there so, uh, that would be executed. So when if we receive a request in HTTP, log Avi rocks and do this redirect. So you can layer in additional data, whatever that's going to be, whatever that logic might be. If that's all good, we would hit save, 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 save. And I'm now going to redirect this virtual service from HTTP to HTTPS. There's a lot of examples that are available. If you go to obbynetworks.com slash docs, take a look under guides, data script, and then under functions and samples, that's where you'll find a lot of different interesting examples here. So take a look under the guides, data script, and something like under the functions. And here's all the commands or functions that you can inject into this. So take a look at something like pull the client's uh, IP address. This example says, obby to HTTP to add, add a header into HTTP called XFF with the IP address of the client. So there's lots of examples out here. We also have some additional examples that are available on github.com slash obby networks, or take a look here under the obby networks.com slash docs for some samples as well. With that, thank you for spending the time and be sure to check out all the other, uh, all the other trainings that are available on the how to video series. <laughs>